हेलो बच्चों क्या हाल चाल आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट यूज टू दिस फ्रेज ऑफ अलग सर इन द पास टू थ्री ईयर्स एंड आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट गोट एन अमेजिंग रैंक एंड नीट यू जी यू मस्ट बी सर्चिंग ऑल दी वेबसाइट्स एंड आस्किंग यूर सीनियर्स आस्किंग द नोन पर्सन विच इज द बेस्ट कॉलेज टू जॉइन फॉर योर रैंक विच इज द बेस्ट सिटी टू जॉइन फॉर योर रैंक एंड इफ यू सच एन एस्पिरेंट वेटिंग फॉर द काउंसलिंग एंड very very excited to join into a medical college this video is for you i am going to welcome you everyone with a extremely wide arm welcome to pw medet which is the medical education vertical of physics wala and i am dr anjit i want to discuss something which is very very important for an mbba student who is going to enter to medical college from the background of school i am going to divide this video into four different things first how you going to look how you going to present yourselves second things to buy instruments to buy third obviously the books right which books are the best thing for you to read and for you to excel and to become a great doctor and last but not the least nothing is all work and no play makes every jack a dull boy right how to enjoy hostel how to have a perfect work life balance that also i'm going to discuss about it right so the first thing like i said i'm going to discuss about what you're going to wear how you're going to present yourselves there's a old saying in indian proverb that if you look the way you present talks about half of what you are right dress is very very important few colleges have dress codes if your college is a dress code whichever college you are entering please follow the dress code at least for the 6 months to 1 year then you will easily find loopholes and try to escape for that right if your college doesn't have a dress code please be presentable a cleanly combed hair if you're a guy have a clean shave and a proper formal shirt and a pant proper formal dress for girls as well that is very very important because i don't want any of you guys to rub any of your professors in the first few months in a wrong way so presentation talks everything be very calm be very composed don't worry you're going to you're in one of the best degrees what you can get in the entire life and right? you're going to become a doctor you're going to save future lives you have to become be compassionate you have to be calm you have to be composed start learning them from the first year itself second and the most important jewelries When I say jewelries there are two things which makes you gives you the feel of a doctor right the white coats you will get white coats you will be having corporate stores in your colleges or you'll have tops books shops which will give you white coat get a white coat if your college says you have to put a college logo put the logo on it most of the time half sleeves are better because generally full sleeve coat is just meant for professors and additional professors have a half sleeve coat white coat get two three pairs right two three sets at least The reason why I'm asking you to minimum have three or four set of uh, three or four white coats is it gets dirty and it's especially if you're in a hostel. There's no one who's going to help us to wash them, right? Because after one month, the white coat kind of slowly becomes yellow in color, right? That shouldn't happen. Make sure that's neat. Again, for the first six months at least, you become presentable so that after that, you know the real, you know how to manage everyone, and you'll definitely do it in the best way possible, right? That's important. and the most important thing is stethoscope i am sure everyone who enters in the medical college the first thing you get a stethoscope you put it into your ears you hear your heartbeat you hear your parents heartbeat brother sister sibling heartbeat that gives a new for you right so when you are going initially into an mbbs college i would say buy a stethoscope which is usable right i'm not i'm not asking you to buy the litman stethoscope that's one of the best stethoscope for mbbs graduates or for any practicing doctor first initial thing get used to a normal simple stethoscope you can get stethoscope for easily 500000 rupees get that maybe when you go into second year third year you start seeing more patients buy a good litman stethoscope right because initially two expensive things might not be required for you because in first year maximum you're going to listen to your heart sounds your friends heart sounds use it for bp measurement that's all right that's about it so what instruments are going to buy when you come to instrument there are multiple things required throughout your mbbs career especially in the first year i'm going to talk predominantly the first year centric your subjects of anatomy physiology and biochemistry anatomy where you're going to dissect cadavers or the dead bodies for that you'll have a dissection kit get a beautiful dissection kit along with that that's very very important to have as hand sanitizer because you're going to touch anything in the dissection hall it will be infected you have to wash your hands sanitize your hand and then go and have your lunch because that's how your routine is going to be right so keep a hand sanitizer handy with you always thanks to covid which taught us one thing to keep us ourselves clean that's very very important when you work in the dissection hall as well don't panic the dead bodies which are going to be there the cadavers which are going to be there in your hospitals are completely completely well preserved you won't get any infections or whatsoever from that you not scared be scared about it right so get a dissection set 
a knife, a scalpel, a forceps, tooth, non-tooth, all the things will be there in the dissection set. Make sure each time you use that during dissection to sterilize them and keep them back very safely. Don't keep them dirty and please, please sterilize after every dissection thing. Wash at least after every dissection, whatever you're doing, right? You will have a team of people dissecting on a cadaver and that will be one of the most pleasurable moments, I would say, looking back 10 years down the lane. After you become a doctor, you sit as a consultant. If you look back at the first year, first year, I would say the first thing you'll remember is the dissection part, right? So let's make memories there. Let's learn and obviously make memories there, right? And again, for anatomy, you have something called histology. Histology is something to look into the microscope. You must have seen microscope in your 12th standard itself. But here, you see a cardiac muscle, you see a skeletal muscle. They'll ask you to draw them. And you will get introduced to two great pencils of eosin and amatoxin, the pink and blue pencils. Are one of the nightmares. You get that pencil, you sharp it, you draw it. If you draw an entire diagram without breaking the tip, I would give you a price. That's one of the most annoying thing of the HNA pencil. It keeps on breaking. So get two, three pencils for you and make sure you, if you get used to that, don't give to your friends, you will never ever get it back, right? So HE pencils are very important. It's one of the important things to complete your records because presenting a record on time, everything carries weightage in your university exams, right? Next coming to your physiology. In physiology, one of the instruments which most of you will buy or keep with yourself is your BP apparatus. If you want to buy a BP apparatus, buy and keep it because you'll become a doctor, right? I'm definitely sure your uncles, aunties, mom and dad will say, tell me what's a BP. So you have to know how to, you will be taught definitely how to measure a BP and you have to do it at home as well, right? So get a BP apparatus, make sure you make them happy. They have sacrificed their entire life for you. Just at least measure a BP and make them happy for themselves, right? That's one. You might have a few sterile needles because you will need to prick your finger and look your blood under a microscope. It's going to be really exciting, right? Looking at the skeletal muscle, heart muscle, blood, intestine, everything under the microscope. You will prick yourself and look at the blood under a microscope. You can say, yes, you are really, really having good blood, right? So for that, if you want, keep sterile needles then in your uh, physiology experiment or your physiology practical bag or pouch. But most of the time, sterile needles will be given in the hospitals. But just as a backup, keep them. Right? Cotton, a little bit of it, if there's a bleeding, to stop it and all those things, right? Biochemistry, most of them are chemical things. So you need not buy them. You need not have any of them. Everything will be provided in the college. Maybe if you want a test tube holder or some basic kits, which in your biochemistry lab, your teacher or your professor in your first year of MBBS asked to buy, just buy them. So these are the instruments what you will require to sail your first year MBBS without any glitches. Now, next and the most important thing, what do I read? Because once you enter MBBS, there will definitely be a panic set. Because it's like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, I'm not understanding anything. And you'll read something the first day. After two weeks, if you read them again, you'll forget. You'll be like, I was not like this in 12th standard. I know everything, but why am I forgetting? That's completely normal. Don't panic. Books are your best companions. I would say for an, becoming an amazing doctor, there are only two pillars. One is book. The other is patience. You learn books, amazing, good standard quality textbooks and use that knowledge to diagnose patients, to treat patients. That's your experience. These are the two and the most and the only companion required to become an amazing doctor. When you enter MBBS, there will be a huge set of books given to you or suggested by your seniors or by the bookstores in and around the medical college. Don't buy everything. You have amazing source of libraries in almost every medical colleges. Buy one book which suits you. Buy a book which you are comfortable in reading. The language of the book, whatever you have, which is comfortable for you, buy that book. You need not go and buy big, big reference books. You can any day use a library to learn them. But always the standard books is very, very important. That definitely builds your knowledge. And if you're finding any difficulty in understanding anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, we have superb, duper, amazing faculties at PW Medic with experience in teaching almost more than your age. We have Dr. Pradeep Power who's teaching anatomy for 20 plus years, Dr. Vivek Nagrikar who's been teaching physiology for 20 plus years, and you have an amazing person, Dr. Rajesh Jambulkar, who will be teaching biochemistry for your PW Medic. If any doubt, turn back to us. We are there here for it any day to help you guys, right? And next thing is, it's always a good investment to have a laptop if possible or a tablet if possible. The reason why I'm saying is most of the books these days are in the form of an ebook or the application, even PW method, you have an application, a tablet, you have video lectures, interactive live sessions, it makes them very comfortable. The reason why I'm saying now is 
when you start into or go into an MBBS, there will be definitely a little bit of push for you to buy certain things. Once you miss them, you may not be buy them, may not be able to buy again the, those things, right? So a laptop or a tablet, I would say preferably a tablet because you can use the tablets even in the college. You cannot open a laptop in a college and read that, right? In a break, you can use a tablet, right? So that is important. Gadgets are going to be one of the important thing for you because the references, if you don't get it in the library, you have to search an article. Tablets are always there. Internet is always there. These are the best companions. And please don't forget one important book, which is the medical dictionary. You will be given the medical dictionary in your bookstores when you enter BBS. Please don't throw the book. That's the most important thing because I feel that every doctor should go to the medical dictionary because medical dictionary converts all the Greek, Latin, blah, blah, blah languages into English so that it helps you understand the entire medicine without any hiccups. Keep the medical dictionary with you. Five words, 10 words per day. Read them and discuss with your friends, right? Last but not the least. Hostel, friends, new life and obviously extracurricular activity. Curriculum is never everything, right? So you are going from a transition from school to college. That's going to be an amazing journey. Believe me, the most pleasurable life time in your entire life is your college life. You'll make new friends. You might break a few hearts. You might have a broken heart. You might have fights. You might have emotional moments. You might have exciting moments. You might have a game of cricket where you lost. You might have you might have a place where you won a gold medal for an anatomy you might become a university topper you might flunk an exam the experience what you get in medical college or any college for the matter is pleasure it's something memory you cannot miss that i'm not saying don't read i'm saying don't be only a bookworm participate in whatever extracurricular activity comes you don't know to dance doesn't matter college cultures are meant for people who don't know to dance go and dance that's all sing a song play a game Go to movies that's very important in addition to reading please don't lose your extracurricular activities if you've been doing any extracurricular activities in your school days continue them that's very important eat well i know that if you're joining hostel that's not the right thing to say but still eat well because eating is very very important for you to push you through the entire very very hard medical journey right food is important eat whatever comes to you play well keep yourself fit if you're a gym freak if you like to exercise, if you like to run, please do that. If you're good in yoga, meditation, please continue that. Please continue all the extracurricular activities which you had in your school days. If you didn't have one, develop one. Like I said, college is the best time to experiment. Experiment something, develop some new things so that a hobby is always required because your four and a half years and five year, one year of internship is definitely going to be a very tough journey if you don't have anything to lie back on. You need an extracurricular activity, you need a hobby that will make you definitely much, much better and help your entire journey look very smooth, right? So in addition to that, friends, friends, seniors are something which you can never, ever miss in medical career. They are going to be a support system always, not just your MBBS, throughout your medical career. Don't worry about dragging. Dragging is like almost minimal in medical schools. If you have something intolerable, please go to your authorities. So get a good bunch of friends, be with them forever, get a good bunch of seniors, listen to their advices because they have done the path, right? Listen to them, whatever they are saying, and definitely we can easily make your medical life pleasurable. So if you have any more doubts, and if you want any suggestions from me or anyone from the PW team, please comment below. So once again, I welcome each and every young MBBS doctors to the medical community. You are going to be the future doctors and maybe one day or the other, you might treat me and many of us staying here, right? So thank you for listening to the video. See you soon in many lectures in the second year of MBBS where I'll be teaching pathology for you. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Hansen. Bye-bye.